Petroni says, oh, we're looking at a sky. Whoa. Do you see that, Alec? Yes, I see it. Is this like a, a flash forward? Up on the surface, Troni and Aleg are looking up at the sky. It's so high up. And so infinite. It's totally different from the Dome of Eternity. <laughs> I would hope so. That must be why the Black Ark Ranger said what she did about the sky. <laughs> she has sparkly eyes. Every time I glance at such infinity, I realize that the surface, enigmatic and perilous as it may be, it's also full of unfathomable beauty. True. It's something worth fighting for. The reason why we've conquered our fear, why we've been fighting all this time, has been right here beside us all along. Oh, she's sounding so inspired. There's a reason why certain lines end up becoming famous. Yeah, I guess so. It's breathtaking. Oh, this is such a chill vibe. I wonder if they're just lying on the grass or something. Hmm. Thank you for coming for me, even though it was dangerous. Oh. I think it's so sweet and wholesome that it, Troni, even though she seems like a shut-in, actually went out on a rescue mission for a leg that just shows how much she means to her. Be careful on your way back. You two. It's like the commander said. We have to act like our memories have been wiped. Okay, so it has been resolved. We're going along with Ether's plan, no matter what shady business she's up to. But at least it works out for these two, so that's good. That's the only way we'll be able to avoid going through all of this again. I know. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye out for any suspicious Nikkei's while I'm in the crystalline area. I know, but still, I worry about you. I'm not worried. Oh! Okay, so that indicates that this happened before chapter 29. No, sorry. 29, 20, 27? In the campaign, this is right before Eleg meets up with Commander and the counters to do the whole crystalline arc. If anything dangerous happens, you and the Commander will come rescue me. In fact, I'm excited. We finally might be able to find a new power source. I know. I hope you find it. As for the Ark, I'll leave that in your capable hands. Alright, I'll keep my eyes peeled to make sure the power source doesn't go haywire. Go haywire? Does a power source have a mind of its own? Interesting. Also, I'll let you know if Maiden gets in touch. Okay. <gasps> Did this cause a riff? Are they not talking to each other anymore? I'll be back. As Troni waves goodbye to Oleg, she murmurs to herself, Never retreat, never surrender. Aw, she's still feeling kind of heroic. She's been inspired by her Power Ranger idol. Keep your head held high and look towards the sky to see what you're fighting for. What we've all, what we're all fighting for. If you do that, you'll be able to overcome any fear. Dark Hero End. Aw. Oh, well that was sweet. I like that epilogue because it explains the context of where this side story occurred and how it ties in with the main scenario. Because I don't think we often get that. We just always have to assume that they're on different timelines. The event stories and the main scenario story. I was hoping there'd be a little bit more explanation about the power source. I know that Aleg mentioned it earlier when she was looking at the report. Like, it definitely involves something gruesome almost borderline as if they're sacrificing bodies or Nikkei's towards the power source in order to keep the arc powered like it has to be something heinous like that i predict that the true nature of the arc is going to come into play in a future storyline where the commander encounters find out about it and just like how Aleg and Troni had a target on their back it's going to end up putting a target on the commander's back from the arc that this information got out and they're gonna have to like fight against the arc in some manner who knows i i think a big brain prediction is that whatever is powering the arc and like this safe haven that the arc is is eventually going to be something that we're going to actively try and destroy which will force humanity 
to leave the Ark and figure out a way to live on the surface while fighting raptures. I think that would be a pretty sick storyline to explore because it's pretty clear. Not everything is all sunshine and roses in the Ark. There's some shady figures that are trying to keep things secret. Oh, there's one more message from Black Rose. Black Rose is uh, Maiden's uh, video game alias. Commander, in case you were worried about me, I'm just letting you know that I did get chewed out by Ingrid. Man, you don't have to worry about Ingrid. Damn, that sucks. But it wasn't all that bad since Guillotine got an earful along with me. Okay, well, she's not alone. Ingrid was upset with her that she didn't intervene. I don't know when I will see you again, but if I ever do come back, We'll be sure to clear that last phase of that raid. Goodbye. Wait, is she gonna get punished for this? That's ominous. I don't like that. I know that Ingrid has obligations, but I don't think she is like necessarily evil. I think she's a lot too much of a lawful good. She's too much a of a goody two shoes and following um like protocol to a fault. I think that's her big character flaw. I don't think Ingrid's a bad person. Thank you for watching. If you have any theories or predictions of what's going to come, please drop them in the comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good rest of your day.